Every journey starts with what we bring, tools, habits, maybe even a little experience. This journey starts here, setting up your Jetson for the first time. So before we begin, I want to give you something for your backpack, a setup script. It won't do everything, but it handles the basics, the things I used to forget. And you won't be alone. We'll introduce a guide to help tailor this setup to suit your needs. Let's take a look at how it fits into the journey. After setting up your Jetson and answering what feels like a thousand questions, you've finally made it to the desktop. So, what now? I've made over 300 videos using Jetson developer kits, and for almost every one, I've had to set up a Jetson from scratch. At first, I did it manually, update the system, install packages, fix quirks. It was repetitive and easy to mess up. So I started automating it with a shell script. We're now at the desktop. The Jetson has booted successfully. The next part of the setup using the script takes about 20 minutes in real time. For this video, we'll compress that step and speed it up, just so you can see the full flow without the wait. Now, instead of 20 minutes of guesswork, I run two commands, download the script and then run it. Let me show you how I use it and how it fits into my workflow. On the Jetson Hacks account on GitHub, there is a repository named Jetson Orange Setup. We clone the repository, then switch to its directory. Then we run the setup Jetson script the first thing the script does is increase the font size of the terminal. Then we do an apt update. With the update out of the way, the script moves on to installing Chromium, your web browser for exploring and downloading tools. Notice that we are adding favorites to the dock as we go along. Next, the script installs pip, the Python package manager, followed by the Jetson stats package. Jetson stats includes a powerful tool called JTOP. Think of it as a task manager but designed specifically for Jetson devices. With JTOP, you can monitor CPU and GPU usage, temperatures, memory, and more. It's an invaluable tool when working with performance-critical applications. After installing JTOP, the script runs an apt upgrade to bring all your installed packages up to date. This step makes sure your system has the latest security patches and software improvements. Always a good habit when setting up a new device. It might take a few minutes, depending on your internet speed and how many packages need updating, so grab a coffee if you need to. The final step in the setup is installing Visual Studio Code, or VS Code for short. VS Code is a powerful, flexible development environment, perfect for writing and debugging code on your Jetson. It supports Python, C, C++, JavaScript, and many other languages right out of the box with extensions that make development smoother for everything from AI to robotics to web applications. With everything installed, we're ready to restart the machine so the changes can take effect. A quick reboot helps ensure that all updates, configurations, and newly installed tools are fully loaded and ready to go. Once we're back at the desktop, we can open up the web browser and head to our favorite website, just to make sure everything's working and the internet connection is solid. It's a simple step, but it's a good sign that the setup went smoothly. Now that everything's running, let's take a look at the Jetson Orange setup repository. Here you'll find a collection of support scripts that help automate common tasks. And right here is the full setup script we just walked through. You can explore it, tweak it, or use it as a base for your own custom setup. Let's open up a terminal and make sure that JTOP is working. Just type JTOP and hit enter. If everything's set up correctly, you'll see a live dashboard showing your Jetson CPU and GPU usage, memory, temperatures, and more, all in real time. At the top, you'll find CPU usage across all cores. Just below that, there's GPU load, memory usage, and temperature readings. You'll also see information about power draw and thermal limits, helpful when you're trying to optimize performance or troubleshoot issues. Use the arrow keys to scroll through more details and press Q to quit when you're done. One more thing to check out, VS Code. Let's launch it from the dock on the left side of the screen. Once it opens, go ahead and open the Jetson Orange setup directory. This is a hard question. 
I don't trust the author, but I want to see their work. Inside, you'll see all the support scripts, including the full setup script we just ran. You'll also find a generated log file from the install process. Open that up in VS Code to review exactly what happened during the setup. It's a great way to double check for errors, see what commands were run, and better understand how everything fits together. One of the tools you should be using when working with your Jetson is a large language model. Here we are using the free version of Gemini, but the major players are all pretty good. LLMs are surprisingly good at walking you through shell scripts, step by step, like a tutor. They can also give you insight into how source code works in a bunch of different programming languages. Let's copy the Jetson setup script using the copy button. We ask the LLM to explain the shell script and paste the script into the prompt, then hit return. The LLM starts by giving you an overview, then breaks the script down into major sections. Each part is explained clearly. And if something doesn't make sense, you can always ask for more details. Consider the LLM a guide for your learning journey, offering explanations and insights as you explore new concepts. You're in control of how the LLM answers. Want just the main ideas and bullet points? Just ask. Saying something like, be concise, can really shape the response. LLMs aren't just for explaining. They can help you write and edit scripts too. Say you want to take out the VS Code install from the setup script, just tell the LLM and it'll give you an updated version you can save as a new file. Just a heads up, the script the LLM gives you might not be perfect. It's a great help, but it could have bugs or miss something important. Always test carefully before relying on it. Take a moment to read through the script, save your changes, and get ready to test it in action. We've reached the first stop, the lake, quiet and still. Your Jetson is set up. The essentials are packed. That script, it's just the beginning. You'll add to it, remove what doesn't fit. Over time, it'll become your own, shaped by what you build. And when you're ready for the next step, you don't have to go it alone. You can always bring back your guide to help you explore, adapt, and go further.